Good morning. I am Willie Diefenbach Jones and welcome to Holidays Made Simple. We're super excited that you're here today and we're glad that you're able to join us as we share how to uh, send your holiday cards. And today I'm going to talk about Thanksgiving cards. But before I get into that, um, please uh, welcome my co-host, Carrie. Carrie, thank you for joining and filling in for us. We're super excited <laughs> you're here. As I go through this presentation, if you have questions, please type them in the chat and we will answer them and uh, go from there. So now we're just going to go ahead and get started and I'm going to share my screen. And we're going to go into send out cards. So if you go into log into your send out cards, I'm going to create a Thanksgiving campaign. And the way I do that is there's many different ways to do it, but I'm going to show you my favorite way. And that is just to go into campaigns here and name your campaign. Be sure you're under my campaigns and label your campaign. I like to label it by year. So I say 2023. Thanksgiving. And the reason I like to label it as by year is so that I can tell the difference between this year and a prior year and can see what I sent last year, the year before. If you just na name it Thanksgiving, then it's kind of difficult to do that. So we're just going to call our, our campaign today 2023 Thanksgiving. Now, I absolutely love Thanksgiving. Let's see, it didn't look like that worked, did it? We're going to try it one more time. Sometimes things don't work, and that's okay. And sometimes you can't type. That's okay, too. See, it, this shows that all of us could have a challenge with this. So we just create our campaign. And here we are. And we come in. And now it's prompting me to add a card. So I just click on this, add a card. And I go into, it's going to bring up, the cards and I like to type in Thanksgiving because I don't want to look through all the holiday cards. So I'm just going to type in the word Thanksgiving and we type it in like that and it's going to bring up Thanksgiving cards. And you can see we have some beautiful cards in here. I just absolutely love the Thanksgiving cards and the colors, but I'm going to scroll down a little bit here to find my favorite card are one of my favorite cards. There's many favorite cards. Of course, I love this one. Get your fat, fat pants ready. But that's not what I want to send today. I'm going to go down here a little bit further. And I am going to do this card, Laugh, Love, and Be Grateful. This is just one of my more favorite cards because I think it's very important to laugh and love. And of course, gratitude and grateful is just the way we are. So we're going to go to the inside. This card has an inside. And it says, may your Thanksgiving day be filled with memorable moments spent with family and friends. And so now we just click customize. I am going to do a two panel card today and regular paper. So we'll just say next. And I'll use the current editor. That probably won't come up on your screen just say current editor and here we are on the front of the card when this comes up here we are laugh love and be grateful so now we're going to jump over here to the inside and i am going to add a picture so you just click this little thing right here to add a picture and one of my more favorite things for the holidays is to add um word search type games and so i just clicked on that little photo in here if you needed to watch your database you could upload your images. This would take you to where your pictures are. But for ease today, I've already uploaded it. Here's my Thanksgiving word search. And so I think that looks pretty good as far as sizing and all. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to write my message. Now, the first thing you can do is change your font. And you can see I got all kinds of fonts in here. But my favorite font is this Fuzzy Bubbles. So I'm going to say hi, and I'm going to use the insert name. So I'm going to say first name, comma. Now what this is going to do is it's going to go out to my contact manager, and it's going to pull the first name of the person in my contact. So I'm send, if I'm sending this card to Carrie, it would say, hi, Carrie. If I was sending this card to Steve, it would say, hi, Steve, and so forth. So now we're just going to go, and I'm going to write my, mes my message. I'm going to say, Thanksgiving blessings to you. I am grateful for your presence in my 
life. I am curious, what was the first word you found? Have a great Thanksgiving. And then I sign my name. Now you can see this is kind of big, so I'm gonna make this print a little bit smaller and I'm gonna change the color. Here's the colors uh, according to the front of the card. And I just love to use it, those. I think that this is very pretty. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller because it doesn't need to be a font size of 16. So we just make it a little bit smaller. And here we go. And now I'm going to just sign my name. And I'm going to come over here. And I have my signatures loaded. So I'm going to just put my name in. But let's just say you don't have your signatures loaded. What I like to do is just find a cursive. As you can see, I used hand or, or um, plain Jane script here. And then you could use a cursive script. So like you could use homemade apple or something like that to do um, your signature. And now uh, my signature is a little bit small. So I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Here we go. And then I think my card looks great. Now I better check it for typos. Hi, first name, Thanksgiving blessing to you. I am grateful for your presence in my life. I'm curious, what was the first word you found? Have a great Thanksgiving. Now I like to ask a question, like when you're doing a word search, what is the first word you found? Because what they're gonna do is come back and answer my question. And then I can start a little bit of a dialogue with people, because I love to have dialogue. Um, those of you who know me, I love to talk, but even if you don't know me, dialogue is always good because I think it adds further connection. So we'll just come over here to the back of the card, and now you could customize the layout. This is the layout on my card, but you could come out here to layouts, and you could create your own. Now, I'm not going to go into that today, and if you have questions on this, get back with the person that invited you to this, and they can show that to you. So now we're just going to, this is how I want my card. I'm just going to add this card to my campaign. And this is going to be my Thanksgiving campaign. And now I'm going to show you how to send this order. Now, I love that this just comes up like this and it says send order. So I can come up here, click on the send order. And it says select all because I could have multiple campaigns. If I did my Thanksgiving card and I did a Christmas card and I did a Happy New Year card, I might want the Thanksgiving card. Well, I would want the Thanksgiving card to go out in November. Maybe I'd want my Christmas card to go out December 1st and my New Year's card on December 30th. You could date that or you could only send one of them. I'm going to select all and then we're going to send campaign. And so we just click send campaign and here we are, we come out here and it's creating my campaign. And here we are. Now I have the option to add gift. So I can come out here and click browse gifts and I can take a look at the gifts. And I can come through here if I wanted to send a Thanksgiving gift, I could come through here and pick out a gift. You know, our number one gift is these two pack of brownies. And these things are really, really, really good. Um, and your pricing is gonna be contingent on what kind of a package you're on. I'm not gonna go into that today. The caramels are amazing. But we also have other gifts. I think this grateful box is pretty cool. This heart crackle ornament is pretty cool. The candy corn is amazing. I'm one I didn't think I liked candy corn until I uh, tasted that. We do have some more uh, um, holiday gifts and you can take a look at this. And if you wanted to add a gift, you would just select it and you would click on it, say add gift, and then you could uh, it would be added to your cart. So you can see I've got all kinds of gifts in here that you can use. But for today, I'm not going to add a gift. So we just go back and view my card like this. And we're going to send a card only. So we just select send a card only. And now what we're going to do is add our recipients. So you click add recipients. And this takes me out to my contact manager. So I could handpick people. So say I wanted to send this card to Carrie. I could type in the word Carrie because that's her name. And then I could just select her. And it would send to her, but I could also send it to a group. So I come out here 
And I want to take this out because I want to go to groups. I don't have a group called Carrie. Um, search groups, here we are. And if I wanted to send to my BNI friends, I could click on BNI because I've got a group set up. And I could click, click on Heights. This is my old BNI group. And I can view the members. I can just come out here and see who's in this group. And here are all these people are in here. And I can click done. And now it's added all of those people. Now, let's just say I don't want to send to one of those people. What I can do is take somebody out. So say I didn't want to send. Actually, I know this is not a good address for her. So if I wanted to take her out of my group, I could just click this minus sign. And it would take the person out. Now, I don't want to send, although I want to send her a card, I don't want to say the Goldstein family. I want to say her name. So I'm just going to come out here and change this to Rachel. And then I'm going to change this to Goldstein. Because if I said it like that, it the, the, the first name would say the Goldstein. And I don't want to say that. So I'm just going to send this to Rachel for this uh, one and go from there. And I'm going to click down here and say save contact. Now, the next thing I can do is change the date on this. And to change the date, you just come up here because it's a little bit early for this to go out, at least from my standpoint. And so I can come up here and change this date. And it says schedule to go immediate. So now I can change this and tell them when I want this to go. So Thanksgiving is coming up. And I can say send on a specific date. I'm going to send this card. I want to send it on November 10th. So I just come down here, select November 10th, click submit. Now I've got my card ready to go. Here's my Thanksgiving card. Here's the date it's going to go. My cost is zero because I have purchased a package. And you can go out and purchase a package too. I'm not going to go through today what the packages are because you can get back with the person that invited you to this and they can explain the packages and you can buy exactly what you need for you. Now, let's just say you don't have all your contacts loaded and you need some help with that. We have virtual assistants that can help that just do amazing, amazing jobs. And now here's the cost. You can see my cost is $37.50 plus $20, just under $20 with shipping because I have the unlimited heartfelt and a package I don't have to pay for those cards. So my total cost is going to be 20 or $19.80. And so I just come on down here to check out. I can change my return address should I want to. And now I can just go to checkout. And this goes on to the production queue. And it's just showing me one more time. Here's my pricing. Shipping is $19.80. I'm doing 30 system cents. And I just come down here and I say confirm and send. And this is on the production queue and it is ready to go. And that is so easy. I now have my holiday cards done for Thanksgiving. And I absolutely love having holiday cards done because what happens is Thanksgiving is a great time to express gratitude. I think it's very important to what you give out comes back tenfold. And Thanksgiving is a great time to celebrate. So I hope that you enjoyed this and that you got some, you have some new tips from this. I really, really thank you for joining me. Be sure to get back to the person that invited you so that you can get started with exactly the right package and have any questions answered. I appreciate you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy November. And I'll talk with you soon. Take care. Bye.